Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, <laughs> oh, hello. How are you doing? My name is Shayna, and I work for your wonderful St. Clair of Assisi Parish. And uh, are you here to join me for a book? Because that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be reading a book. But you know what I like to do before I read a book? I like to snuggle up to the fire and drink some hot chocolate. Do you have any hot chocolate? If not, you better go get some. You know what else you should do to your hot chocolate? Add extra marshmallows. The big, giant, fluffy ones are the best in hot chocolate. So make sure you have some of that. Not necessary, but it makes the story a little bit more enjoyable. All right, are you ready to read our story for today, friends? Our story is The Shepherd on the Search. And guess who it has in it? My shepherd friend here. Isn't that exciting? He goes with the book. Say hi, Mr. Shepherd. Hi, everyone. All right, here we go. Every year at Christmas time, carolers love to sing a certain lowly shepherds how they came to find a king. We like to sing about shepherds, right? I love to sing during Christmas. Do you know the best way to spread Christmas cheer? My shirt says it, singing loud for all to hear. The shepherds saw the angels while they watched their sheep one night. They shook with fear and trembling when they saw the brilliant light. An angel told them not to fear. Good news was on the way. He said the Messiah had been born not far from them that day. The town of Bethlehem was where the baby would be found, lying in a manger with the animals all around. <gasps> Oh my goodness, would you be so scared if you were out working one night, doing your own little thing, and these bright images of angels showed up? I'd be like, ah, somebody, look, 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 look. And then I'd go tell all my friends, because they would not believe it. A baby in a manger would be something new to see. The shepherd set off right away, but didn't wait for me. I couldn't stay behind and miss the mir this miracle so great. I had to see Messiah, so I didn't hesitate. <gasps> he was left by himself, but that didn't stop him, did it? Nope. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go on this journey. I can do it. Just like if you go on a long journey, I bet you have to give yourself a little pep talk, right? You can do it. All right. So it says he did not hesitate. Hesitate means he did not wait. He did not wait. He headed out right away. I knew where all the fields were, but I didn't know the way. I hoped it wouldn't be too hard because of my delay. The night looked very different when the shepherds weren't around. I heard some noisy crickets and some other nighttime sounds. <gasps> Do you ever hear like little crickets or anything when you're outside? I know, and then you go get your mom and dad and you tell them about the crickets and all the noises you're hearing outside. Whenever I was tempted to give up and go to bed, I thought about the special things the mighty angels said. I climbed up many hills and went through valleys far below. I crossed a long and winding stream where midnight made it glow. Oh, he's taking a good, good search, isn't he? Going on a great long journey through winding streams, following the star. I passed some houses made of stone with camels standing by, and in the grass I saw a snake and heard a dragonfly. Then just as I was hoping that my journey would be through, the lights of Bethlehem appeared. I knew just what to do. Do you like taking walks and looking for bugs and wiggly worms and snakes? Um, no, I would not want to find a snake on my walks. I would be very scared, but I don't like snakes. I bet you guys like snakes. I think cute little dragonfly. Oh, who are we gonna be talking about? 
I ran right to the manger where the sleeping baby lay and bowed in humble worship to the king of kings that day. It might sound like the story is now coming to an end, but actually that's not quite true for it begins again. <gasps> Who do we see there? We see Joseph and Mary. <gasps> and who's that? Is that baby Jesus? Oh my goodness, baby Jesus. Don't we all love baby Jesus? And Jesus loves us so much. And he loves our little shepherd too. Yeah. So once Advent ends, it doesn't really end, does it? No. We get to be sent on and do so many exciting things that God has planned for us. And every one of you has a mission that God has given you. And you will fulfill this mission throughout your life. And we'll be so excited. We, the church, will just clap for you and be so happy. Your parents will cheer you on. And this little shepherd guy, you'll remember him. He'll be so happy you made your journey. So let me tell you a little secret. You can't tell anyone. You can't tell Father Martin. Don't tell Father Andrew. And don't even tell Moses. Okay, we're going to do something fun. I'm going to take this little shepherd guy. Who is this shepherd? What do you think his name should be? Let me know what you think we should name our little shepherd guy. So I'm going to take little shepherd guy and I'm going to hide him somewhere in the church. And if you find him, you get to take a picture of him and send it to us on our Facebook or Instagram. So we know you found the shepherd and help your friends out. Okay. All right, friends. It's been so much fun having this time with you and I can't wait to see you around. We wish you a happy Advent and a Merry Christmas. Bye.